Not surprisingly, Google Drive has an excellent search tool, which is probably the easiest way to find your files once you've uploaded them to Drive. As a result, it's a great idea to use specific keywords or common tags when you title your items. For example, I do a lot of work with teacher librarians and use the tag TL when I name my items. If I search for TL in the search box, it returns all the files with TL in the title or body of the documents. Using a consistent tag for similar items can help out. But even if I only remember one word in a document's name, I can find it. For instance, if I want to find the form I used to collect students' prezies for a Fast Food Nation project, I can search for Fast Food to locate it. If there were lots of items listed, I can narrow my results by using the drop-down to search only for forms. If you don't like searching for documents this way, you may wish to also create folders to better organize your Drive dashboard. If I click on the triangle to expand my Drive's contents, you'll see numerous folders that I've created. If I click on the name of a folder, I see all of the items I have added to that folder. To create a folder at the top level, click on My Drive. Then use the red Create button and choose Folder. Or, if you want to nest a folder within a folder, use the drop-down menu that appears next to a folder's name and choose New Folder. To assign a color to my new folder, I can again choose from the drop-down menu that appears next to its name and choose Change Color. Assigning colors to folders is nice for organization. Let me search for the keyword YouTube. I assigned my YouTube folder a red color, and all of the items I've added to that folder have a corresponding red tag. To add items to my folder, I just need to click and drag them into that folder. If I want to add several files to a folder at one time, I just need to put a check mark by each file's name and drag the group into the folder. I can also view or change the folder an item lives in by putting a check mark by its name and choosing the More button and selecting Organize. I can see what folder an item lives in, change that to a different folder, or move the item out of all folders by choosing My Drive. In addition to helping you stay organized, folders can also help you share more efficiently. Just as with documents, I can assign sharing settings for an entire folder as well. I will use this new YA Lit folder and adjust the sharing settings for the folder using the drop-down menu next to the folder's name and choosing Share. I will change the folder's access from Private to Anyone with the link can view. Now, if I add a document that is currently set as private to this folder, its sharing settings will change so that it is also viewable by anyone with a link in alignment with the folder's settings. In this way, you can use folders to quickly adjust sharing permissions for individual files as well. Just remember that when you add a file to a folder that has broader access or sharing permissions than that file, the file will assume those increased sharing settings. However, if you drag a shared file into a folder that you've set as private, the document's original sharing settings will not be altered or reduced. The folder's sharing settings only change the individual documents if they are more liberal or broader than that of the document. Specific people you share documents with are not altered at all by moving items in and out of folders. Whether or not you use folders to streamline sharing, they are just a great way to clean up your Drive dashboard and help you find your files more quickly.